Today is Thursday, August 18th, 2022. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is Jesus is the way. Let us pray. Almighty God, as you have sent Jesus to be for us light and truth, send now your spirit upon us to grant us grace and strength to follow in his footsteps this day. Amen. Our psalm reading is Psalm 18, verses 1 through 6 and 16 through 18. I love you, true life, my strength. True life is my solid rock, my fortress, my rescuer. My God is my rock. I take refuge in God. God's my shield, my salvation's strength, my place of safety. Because God is praiseworthy, I cried out to true life, and I was saved from my enemies. Death's cords were wrapped around me, rivers of wickedness terrified me. The cords of the grave surrounded me. Death's traps held me tight. In my distress, I cried out to true life. I called to my God for help. God heard my voice from God's temple. I called to God for help and my call reached God's ears. From on high, God reached down and grabbed me. God took me out of all that water. God saved me from my powerful enemy, saved me from my foes who were too much for me. They came at me on the very day of my distress, but true life was my support. Our daily scripture is Matthew 8, verses 18 through 27. Now when Jesus saw the crowd, he ordered his disciples to go over to the other side of the lake. A legal expert came and said to him, Teacher, I'll follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have dens, and the birds in the sky have nests. But the human one has no place to lay his head. Another man, one of his disciples, said to him, Master, first, let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. When Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. A huge storm arose on the lake so that waves were sloshing over the boat. But Jesus was asleep. They came and woke him saying, Master, rescue us. We're going to drown. He said to them, Why are you afraid? 
you people of weak faith. Then he got up and gave orders to the winds and the lake, and there was a great calm. The people were amazed and said, what kind of person is this? Even the winds and the lake obey him. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. Following Jesus isn't easy, and we can find all kinds of excuses not to do so. When do you find yourself making excuses for why you aren't following the way of Christ? Those who did choose to follow Jesus found themselves caught up in a major storm. Yes, the literal storm described here, but also the storm of cultural changes Jesus was calling them to. When have you felt led by Jesus to go against the tide of culture? And how did you respond? Jesus demonstrated that he was in control, even when the storms hit. The same is true for us. The Spirit abides with us to help us through the storm, and when the time is right, to calm the storm. How have you experienced the power and presence of the Spirit during stormy times in your life? Our reading today comes from Meditations of a Hermit by Charles de Foucault. The hour in our life in which we are best employed is the hour in which we best love Jesus. A soul does good to others, not in the measure of its knowledge or intelligence, but in that of its holiness. For me, all people should be enveloped in God's sight in the same love and the same indifference. I must no more trouble about health or life than a tree troubles about a falling leaf. I must remember only Jesus. Think only of Jesus estimating as a gain any loss at the price of which I have more room in myself for thought and knowledge of Jesus, beside whom everything else is nothing. I must reserve all my strength for Jesus.
Let us pray. Jesus, we might wish that following you meant that life became an easy stroll and that we would never face difficult situations. But you taught that we should expect just the opposite. Help us to trust you, even during the storms of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are struggling with their decision about following you. Help them to see beyond the potential struggles to the joy of simply being with you through life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have walked away from you for the time being, choosing to follow the way of the world rather than your way of love. May they be led safely into your fold and learn the joy of trusting in you. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray for those who are caught up in the storms that inevitably arise when your way leads us into unknown and uncertain territory. May we all trust you in the storm and trust you to lead us beyond the storm to your purpose for each situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this benediction. You have been reminded that Jesus Christ is your Lord and that you are God's servant. You are loved. You are forgiven. You are empowered. And now you are sent to live as God's faithful one. Amen. Go in peace.